What it do, what it do, how you doing? Good to meet you. Oh, Extra blue with like a big booty at the movie, man. Nice, nice. Oh man, chillin' man, chillin' loving life, what it is with you, bro. It's, it's good, man, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a beautiful thing for us to uh, connect together and, and be in contact, you know? Even though we don't have to worry about them borders in the game. <laughs> Like I'm talking about, man, I sure missed that Canada trip, but I'm gonna I'm make it next time for sure. No, it was uh, it was excellent. You know, it was a good show, and everyone had a, a real good blast. And that's what's up. I appreciate this interview. You know, what I'm saying I really appreciate this interview too. Like I said, when it comes to doing the interview, I've been a fan of No Limit since like you know back in '96. So okay, you know, I I've been down with with P and all that. You know, being a Canadian, hearing your record, it was, you know, quite a highlight for everybody out here. So, you know. That's what's up, man. It's hard, to get, up. it's hard to get access to, you know, certain things that are going on when it comes to, you know, the industry in general, right? Right. So, yeah, it's just been like, you know, kind of crazy when it comes to that. So, yeah, for sure. For sure, so. Let's get to it, my okay. brother. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Yeah, it's the Archivist, y'all. Exclusively interviewing via the internet thanks to the technology of skype we got fiend in the building believe that believe that man what's going on archivist man i apologize for not being able to make it out there on um on the canada run for a life tour but i was there in spirit and vines i was there in spirit and vines my brother for sure and who is fiend fiend is the one of the most lyrical Hard, hardest working young men in the business that's just happy to be here and put that music out. International Jones, internationally renowned, you know what I'm saying, musical living legend. Thank you, it's so great to be here. And your first record, I Won't Be Denied, and then being signed to No Limit. Tell us about that. Uh, you know, that was cool, man. I got a chance to introduce myself to the world through some great people, you know what I'm saying? That was real cool, No Limit. And uh, now today we are here on this road, man, Jet Life Tour, you know, Jet Life Recordings, F.E., Street Customs. I put out a lot of records with Master P, so you know, of course, I'm body, body, ride it, ride it, you know what I'm saying, live on this hip-hop show at my home, the archivist, you know what I'm saying. I dropped a new project called Life Behind Limo Glass, and like for everyone, when you get a chance to go visit www.feendigital.com, that's F-I-E-N-D-D-I-G. I-T-A-L dot com to get um, my latest releases like Audio Dope, Tennis Shoes and Tuxedos, Swedish Hangover, and their latest release, Life Behind Lemon Glass. And can you share about Soldier Slim and his legacy and the track Take My Pain with the classic Sons of Funk and yeah. Soak the Shocker? Oh yeah, man. You know, you know these, um, these are guys and people I work with, you know what I'm saying, I've had an honor to work with and still work with and um, sometimes, you know, young men get to get older and sometimes we don't. That's kind of especially like being growing up where we're from. You know what I'm saying? And Slim was taken away. His life was taken away too early. His legacy is left behind. A lot of stand-up guys, you know what I'm saying, they want to be more stand-up and say what they feel and mean what they say. You know what I'm saying? So I will give that, you know, that type of respect and attention to Soldier Slim, James Tapp. You know what I'm saying? And uh uh, shout out to his mom because she's uh she was the one grieving the most of what happened because it was an extremely huge tragedy for his life to be taken away from us. You know, um, we just I'm happy just to be able to work with cats like this. You know, what I'm saying just to be able to roll, man, to run with that body, body, ride it, ride it, run no limit. You know, what I'm saying street life, there's one in their family, body soundtrack. You know, lady like mama drama. You know, what I'm saying true. You know, what I'm saying T R U. You know, Mac. You know what I'm saying? He in jail, see murder in jail. You know, y'all guys in my prayers. Mr. Gould just came home. You know, um, this has this been a long road, man. But I'm here. I'm still making that music to support my brothers, you know what I'm saying? On that life behind them with glass. On that covert coupe also with currency, my brother Spitter. You can check out, you know what I'm saying? A lot of thoughts and a lot of, um, you know, where we at right now today, you know? And on to your second album, there's one in every family and a big moment for you. Can you share about your time at No Limit and in the late 90s on this record going gold? 
I think it was dope. You know, it was uh, you know the biggest rap company in the world at that time. You know, to sell over eighty million records. You know, in three years to be involved with that. You know, to be involved with grossing four hundred million dollars in three years. You know, what I'm saying to be able to say I wrote a lot of stuff like that was um with that music. To say I was just involved with such some great, such great people. You know, what I'm saying I think it was awesome. I really think it was awesome, and I believe that I went to Nolan University, and I made—I think it made me the man that I am today. You know, what I'm saying along with Rough Rider Records, Big Boy Records, True Records. You know, what I'm saying Fe, our own label. You know, it just made the man that I am today to drop that life behind them on glass on FiendDigital.com. You heard me. And the single "Woof" with Snoop and Mystical. Can you tell us about this and what it did for you being featured? It was it was awesome. I got a chance to bond and build with two of the dopest MCs that would touch the microphone, Snoop Doggy Dog, Mystical, Mr. Michael Tyler, and uh, it helped elevate my career some, too, a lot, you know what I'm saying? So uh, y'all check that out. Woof, 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 bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay, you know? Hella classic for the real heads there. And the third album, Street Life. Selling over 268,000 copies. Share about the accomplishment. Uh, it was awesome. You know, it wasn't promoted, and I had diehard fans go to the stores and go cop that album. You know what I'm saying? They actually sold more units than that, I believe. I hate to be wrong, but I think it was a com- combination of uh, maybe 1.2 million records between one and their family. Oh, okay. And Street Life. Amazing. Yeah, Street Life was an album I, I, I wrote when I visited Europe. I was overseas with Snoop Dogg. And I had a chance to just chill and see the world for some different views. So um, that's what street life was all about, a growing process of seeing that the world is a ghetto, you know what I'm saying? We all share the same pain, pain, love, laugh, and everything else, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And another banger, some sell shit on the Rough Riders Volume 3 in Are We Trust with Ludacris. Can you tell us more about this being with Rough Riders and DMX? Oh, yeah, man, it was an awesome reality, you know what I'm saying, being with those guys, you know what I'm saying, some more peers that, that accomplished so much in this business, you know what I'm saying, to make you just want to just get in the studio, record something, do something, you know, travel the world, you know what I'm saying, talk about some different stuff, you know what I'm saying, so it was an honor, you know what I'm saying, to be rapping with the likes of Ludacris, DMX, to be with the great likes of Rough Rider Records, you know what I'm saying, DMY, Siobhan, Dean, you know what I'm saying? It was awesome, man. I just think that it, it just made me the unique individual that I am today, International Jones. And featuring with 3-6 Mafia on When the Smoke Clears, 6661, the track Touch With It, can you elaborate on the group project that you guys did as well? Oh, yeah, man, we got together, you know, got some vibes together. We did an album in, like, three days, but then when the smoke clears, that was us just getting together. Me, uh, KLC, and Servon Joe to Memphis, Tennessee, to go get with some homeboys of ours. It's just kind of chill. We got together, did a joint. <clears throat> it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? And there it was, you know. Uh, shout out 36 Mafia, man. The whole entire family over there with them cats. Uh, Paul, Juice, J, you know, our uh, computer. Everybody, Selecto Hits, you know what I'm saying? That made that, you know, Frazier Boy, Chat, Gangsta Boo, you know, um, Project Pat, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Lord Infamous, oh, uh, man, I hate to forget, Chuck, Crunchy Black, you know what I'm saying? Just love for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Good music, you know what I'm saying? When the smoke clears, I believe it went platinum, too. So uh, I need my plaque. When you get a chance, can I get my plaque, please, for that project? Because I am on it, and it went platinum. I need to put that on my wall. Thank you. I'll do what I can for you on that, for sure. And can I burn with Lil Jon, 8-Ball, and David Banner, Go Hard, Go Home with c Loke, and then The Addiction, share about these moments. Uh, it was dope. My, I reached my independence of putting out music on my own label, F.E. That is my, you know, my label, F.E. You know, I share with my brother, M.H., uh, street Customs Management, Crack Alley Music, it, it was monumental for us to do this because it was something we did on our own and it marked us putting like putting a flag in the ground that represent us, you know. So that was dope. I think it was dope, you know what I'm saying? Get a chance. You can check out all these projects at FiendDigital.com, especially all my Vancouver, all my BC fans, and some of my Canada, my diehard, Maple Leaf, you know what I'm saying, my people, you know what I'm saying? Just check me out, FiendDigital.com, whenever. You know what I'm saying? You want to get any of your fiend digital needs. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. And then working with Jadakiss and C-Murder, as well as many more, Corner Boy P. 
Let us know. Oh, yeah. Awesome. See, Murder, awesome. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to that brother return back home. Corner Boy P, my little brother, he's awesome. It's called Public Enemies. You know, you can check out a lot of his stuff also on FiendDigital.com and as well as JetLifeTour.com as well. And Life Behind the Limo Glass, tell us about your recent work that you just recently released. I'll give it to my man. Life Behind the Limo Glass is some musical compositions put together just expressing, just celebrating how cool, you know what I'm saying? I feel like an MC, I, um, I don't speak up enough, so that's what I just was doing, five and traveling the world, and just sharing it with some cool motherfuckers like yourself, you know what I'm saying? Always. So that's all we're doing, we're celebrating our cool, brother. Every time you see International Jones, I just wanted you to say, we must be getting ready to celebrate our cool, you know what I'm saying? And the biggest crowd that you've ever rocked? Biggest crowd might have been like 20,000 people. Probably with Jada Kiss, uh, and as well as about twenty thousand seater, but uh, no limit in Indiana. Uh, it was huge, man. Canada, great country of Canada. To throw up their pinky and their thumb, throw up their pinky and their thumb, and I need y'all to go to YouTube and type in F I E N D F I E N D. All right, space, baby. One video. Second video, gracias. Third video, float. I need you to do this now for me so we can connect as friends. So you can see what we're doing, right? Am I right, Arcus? Hell yeah, all day. And the best Southern hip-hop memory you've been part of or contributed to? Uh, Just waking up every day knowing I can still do it. Honestly, still be able to contact with friends and, and family and fans that still be interested in what I'm doing, I think that got to be a, a feeling I keep getting every day, to be honest with you. So that's what's up, honestly. You know, people gravitating toward my projects and the music that we're doing is awesome. And how do you feel about hip-hop today and what needs to change? Uh, it can stay like it is because, I mean, good music is going to overcome it all and bad music, you're going to be able to decipher what's bad and you're not going to like it anymore. So I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm really cool with that. And you got anything else to add to everybody? Uh, yes, uh, man, it's been great reaching out to Canada for this first time, this first interview. I hope it's not my last fiend, but now they call me Jones, International Jones at that. So uh, check me out on my newest releases, Tennis Shoes and Tuxedos, The Sweetest Hangover, and the very, very latest is Life Behind Limo Glass. You can get all of these projects at www.feendigital.com. That's F-I-E-N-D-D-I-G-I-T-A-L.com. And hit me up at Fiend for the Money on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash F-I-E-N-D, the number four, D-A, money. Because everybody Fiend for the Money. And I'll become my friend on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Sleepy Jones on Facebook. My bad, brother. And how is the tour so far with the Jet Life? Oh, it's awesome. You know what I'm saying? As you can tell, you know, I, d I recorded a whole CD that you're listening to right now. Just in the process of chilling in my hotel, different resorts, different dispensaries, you know what I'm saying? Just sharing life, you know what I'm saying, with all you good people. So you tell me, uh, after hearing the CD, if that expresses how I'm feeling about the tour and just life, you tell me. And also, when you're on the tour, what's been one of your best moments so far? Uh, one of my best moments have to have been rocking the crowd in L.A., the El Rey, Tempe, Arizona, man, Santa Barbara. Uh, man, I'm loving it everywhere, man. It's just, it's just been love, man. Every show, performing, seeing the response to these, this, the videos that we put out, Baby, Gracias, and Float. It's honestly it's just great, man. I'm jumping in the crowd. You check that out on YouTube, man. We've been partying. Nice. And you got any shouts? I want to shout out the archivists right now for tuning in live, you know what I'm saying, on vchiphophour.com over here, you know what I'm saying? I want to shout out everybody in Canada, everybody, all my international people that's in other countries that love to love, appreciate music, you know what I'm saying, and I uh, just love waking up every day, you know, and likes the good vibes, am I right, you know? All day. You call it Kush. You call it Kush, I call it Baby. <laughs> you know, so check that out, man. I want to shout out everybody on this Jet Life tour. Uh, it is imperative that everybody go and download Life Behind Limo Glass. FiendDigital.com is on that. Piff.com, all that. 
Life Behind Limo Glass. And just catch up with me. Let me know how you feel about me on Twitter, right? Uno Three Zeros is your neighborhood hero. And this is The Archivist, and you already know the name, y'all.